Hey, this is Luke Simons with Soft Strong. In this video, we're gonna cover how to grill lobster the really a, the, one of the simplest ways possible, but it is delicious. I, I love cooking this way. It, it's called the butterfly technique. So here's here's how it looks. It, it looks just, for, it makes for a great presentation. And it's literally just the, the lobster tail. Obviously, it you know starts out, uh, here's the before, here's the after where we just you know cut it, cut it from the, the, uh, the actual bottom of the tail, if you will, and, uh, and open it up. And it just uh, gets a nice grilled flavor. And, and as far as the timing, the reason I really like it is I often have it with fish. So, uh, so when, when it's this thin and open, uh, it'll cook at about the same time that like a normal size uh, fish fillet would, uh, would take. So, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the best thing is that the, as far as the, the items needed is very limited. It's just obviously easy. So I just use you know, lobster tail. I get two uh, paper towels that are kind of uh, bundled up like this. And you'll see why once we open it up, because you do have to crack the shell, the shell manually. Um, and then other than that, that's really just butter. And so, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, you'll need a pretty good, pretty strong knife. As you can see here, this is a, this is a pretty hardy knife. And if you look real close at the end, uh, I've, actually, I've actually bent it um, from, let me see if you get the white, the white background. So you can probably see that the, the very tip is bent because we, I've used this knife on many a lobster tail, but it, it's still kicking. So uh, really first step, is the, the hardest thing to break is this, this very top, the, the very top ridge. You know, the middle parts here, this is very soft, but then each of these ridges is a hard, hard ridge. So the first one, I like to get it upside down, put the knife right in the middle, and then, and then just start, just, just push it down. It'll eventually just crack through. And then I'll flip it over, put the knife right in that slot, and then just cut down, cut down the, remaining, the remaining sections. And then, uh, and then before trying to, to if you try to break the shell without, without uh, at least putting some, some dings in there, it's going to be hard to open. So I like to get in here and just push down with the tip, um, just kind of just make some, uh, some little damage to the, uh, to the shell itself. So let's go ahead and this is, this is why you need a strong knife. I'm putting a lot of force on the, uh, on the actual shell because some, some of these shells are harder than others. This one is a really tough one. Um, so now is where uh, these things come into play, the paper towels. It's really just to pr protect your fingers because if you, if you try this without a paper towel, all these little points here, this is a very sharp shell and all of these points are, are sharp and, and that's a very hard, hard material. So if you try this barehanded, it would definitely do some damage. So let's go ahead and protect our fingers, get it there right on the edges and then with my thumbs, I just get in there and just crack it. And so that, all that did is really was it just broke, you know, it broke the back. So now it'll, it'll cook nice and flat. And at the end, once we prepare it, I uh, actually oftentimes pull these apart so that everybody gets you know, one or two slices. All right, so we'll just do that for the uh, remaining couple and then we'll go on to the next. Now it's time to put these uh, lobster tail up on the grill. I like to do it the uh, the shell side down. So again, just just open it up. We have a little starship out there now. Here's some uh, music. So uh, I put a little olive oil on it just to make sure it doesn't stick too bad. And then I just really just lay them down. Lay them down just right there on the grill. We're gonna do all the lobster on this side, fish on the other. And uh, and what I like to do is uh, is actually put some some butter on these while I cook it. So I just have some little butter. You know, just little butter slices. I literally just kind of just, just break them apart, put them there inside the lobster tail. And I'll just do that in all of them, uh, just for a little bit of added flavor. Obviously, you can never go wrong with butter. All right, that is looking good. Now let's get the fish on the other side. We have some African pompano here, delish fish. Let's go ahead and just get all those in there. That might hurt your hands. Yep. And one 
little piece. And the cool thing about doing the lobster this way, when the you know do lobster and fish at the same time when you butterfly them, they pretty much cook at the same point. So as soon as the fish is ready, that means the lobster is ready too. And we have it about 400 degrees. I like to do about maybe four four to five minutes aside, depending on how thick the uh, the fillets are and how big the lobster tail are. All right, so one thing sometimes we do is we put a little bit of, uh, of, of seasoning on lobster tail. I like mine plain. Joe always likes a little bit of spice to it. So we have some, uh, some blackened redfish magic. We're going to sprinkle some of that on, on the Joe's tail here. Just go to sprink, sprinkle it on the side. <laughs> a little more than I planned. <laughs> a little more than I planned. So Joe's yeah, tail? A little more than I planned there, but, uh, but Joe's going to have a little kick to his lobster tail. So we'll see. I'm curious to see how that one tastes. A little bit better to, to do about half of that was the goal. All right, so we have the, uh, the top of the fish season now. It's just a matter of uh, closing it up and I'm gonna set my alarm for, for four minutes or four and a half minutes because these are average size fish. So four and a half minutes and we'll go ahead and uh, check it out and turn them over. All right, so we've gone to four and a half minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and check, see how everything's looking. And uh, we're gonna flip them over. <laughs> this one with all the spices is looking good. Um, time to turn them over. So uh, one thing, yeah, tongs are obviously nicer to have. I used, to, I usually always just use, I used to always use these, you know, just a simple spatula. But anything work, tongs, you know, just go in there and let her just grab it, flip it over, grab it, flip it over. So obviously going to do the uh, this side down for about the same amount of time, and then there'll be a nice, just nice little grilled flavor to it. I absolutely love, love this style. And then as far as the fish, um, just so you can see it, in case you're curious is I like to always use the, uh, this little knife just for making sure that I can get the whole thing without the fish splintering. And uh, just again, just make it nice, quick little flip there. This fish is looking good. All right, so we've done the flips to try to do as quick as possible. Get that heat back in there, and I'm going to go set the timer again. This time, about four minutes. This, this grill's feeling pretty hot, so I'll do it. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll probably do three minutes and just check it, and uh, and just see from there. It's always bad to, to never never overcook, so I try to do under, feel it, and then let it go longer if needed. All right, so it's been uh, as the alarm just went off. Time to open it up. Let's go ahead and check them. And again, uh, it, I like to just test the fish, and this is the old poke test. As soon as the knife can uh, can poke through. Um, then, then that means it's done and really it's pretty much poking through in all these. So we're ready to rock. These things are all done. So now let's go ahead and just take them off. Um, again with the tongs, the lobsters are super easy. Just grab them, throw them on up in there. Ooh boy. We'll just get this going out, out that way. Oh yeah. I love that one there. That one opened up nice. Now we'll go ahead and get the fish off as well. So let's take it inside and check them out. All right, so now we're, we're inside here. You can see it's just a nice spread. I really like just how it looks with the, the butterfly technique. And one cool thing, if you are, if you are serving a lot of people, and uh, some people like a full tail, some don't like lobster as much, they only want half. So the cool thing you can do is uh, once it's done, this is still kind of hot, so it's kind of hurt my hand here, but. And once it's done, you can literally just, just rip it in two. Um, so that way you can, you can just have these, these halves sitting here on the platter. So, we'll just... All right, so a quick way to get this, uh, this meat out, just real nice ease. All you need is a fork, just in a normal size fork, is to, is to hold it by the tail. Go in, uh, let's get that shade out of there. Let's go in the very top of it and just dislodge the meat from the shell and pull down. And there you'll, you'll see that this meat just literally pulls straight out. You got the entire thing. Um, this is part of the grill section here. It looks like one, one piece should go off. So there you are. That's a nice, good chunk of lobster meat. At this point, let's get a knife and chunk it, dip it in, uh, in butter, and it is delish. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're about to go enjoy this meal now. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you do have any other recipes, uh, please let us know. I'm always up for, uh, for learning new new recipes. And if you have any questions on this one, you can leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wet a line today.